Good afternoon, we're going to do a quick preview video for the August Antique Fine Art Jewelry Ceramics and More auction. We have lots of great items in the auction this time. In fact, it's our largest auction of 2018 to date, meaning we have more lots. Whether or not we gross more, we'll find that out on Monday. But it is a large, large auction. 580 lots, I think it ends up being. And uh, a lot of those lots have multiple items. Put some information about these prints in the auction catalog today. They're really good. It's 18th century uh, spectacular pieces there. Love this modern painting of a cellist. This is fun as well. The, uh, the uh, Frederick James print that's signed by Apollo, 11, Apollo 15 astronaut Jim Irwin. And uh, Irwin's autograph might be worth more than the print. One of the nicest Empire Mahogany display cabinets we've ever sold. Just great form, great shape, great size, great condition. Beautiful piece. Came from an architect's estate. Along with some of the other great, just clean, modern type pieces. And even though this is 100 years old, it's very modern in its appearance because it's so squared up. The putt... Putnam painting, Donald Putnam. He's a great uh, painter with a great story. He painted for uh, Ringling Brothers and Barnum and Bailey Circuses back in the 60s, 70s, and 80s. A lot of people like these chairs. This is one of the pieces of furniture from another estate, a condo overlooking the plaza and Loose Park. Uh, bought a lot of these pieces from George Turbovich back in the 90s. One of the more rare pieces of Kansas City art that we've ever sold is this Jim Leedy sculpture. Obviously not for everyone, but Leedy's work is really important, and that's a really important piece of his. Love the Regency Convex Mirror. The clients originally paid something like $8,000 for that from Turbovich. More interesting artwork. The Biedemeyer table, again, from the... Look at the pictures, the way the, this is held together, there's a wood nut and <laughs> system that holds it all together. That's really quite wonderful. A lot of glass, including this great center bowl. You can see that it's just massive. It doesn't even, you know, my hand hardly covers any of it. Ruby red, gilded. There's one of the KPM plaques. I have to get him hung up yet. Pine, nice pine trunk, some angelica, some great uh, art pottery tiles, including marble head. A marble head piece, which is pretty nice. Check out the selection of ceramics on the sideboard. Say that three times fast. Sevs and, and old Paris and you know, bronze pieces on there and others. Love the toll planters as well. She's a beautiful painting up there. And there's a nice little collection and group of Chinese scrolls hanging throughout the office for the auction as well. In fact, we're stacked really high. On top of the mantle is the pair of Demoloon tables that, again, from the con Plaza Condo, really stellar looking pieces. Fun guild craft swivel chairs, nice little game set. And the, mission the mission bench is just, if you like mission, it's, a, it's really just great side bench. The Dutch mirror, again, from the Plaza Condo. Good ceramics, good Asian pieces. Beautiful, beautiful entry piece here. Again, from the Plaza Condo, the Sevs urn with the gilt bronze boy figures on the sides has a $22,000 price tag on the bottom of it. Um, again, this is, I think most everything here is from the Plaza Condo that's uh, in that table and stuff. Collection of antique art from a uh, collector in uh, the Overland Park area. Moved to a smaller house and decided it was time to liquidate some of that. And so he brought it to us, which we're happy about. Another nice curio with some good ceramic pieces in it as well. The George Dick paints. Love this little putt painting here, the portrait. Kind of really fun. All kinds of stuff. Let me turn to the right here. We have a great set of sterling in the little display cabinet. We have two sets of sterling, I think, in this auction. We have some just more contemporary decorative art. 
The pair of plaques on the top shelf are Capitamonte, 19th century Capitamonte. That's what people who collect Capitamonte like. Good depth, great color, good size, a lot of activity going on. Here's the set of 16. 18th and 19th century botanicals in the cabinet as well. You can see we have, you can see four, but then the rest are stacked up behind in the cabinet. Because we just had no other place to put them. <laughs> These are really fun. These urn, look like urns, but they flip over. And they have candle holders as well. So really unusual. I've never seen that form before. And they're just really handsome looking as well. A couple of more paintings. A classical type scene. Nice 1930s landscape. Pieces on top of furniture in this auction. Big, big display cabinet with pieces on top. And then the cabinet is full of a nice collection of mainly Italian or Italian style glass. There's a few antique pieces in there. And with some of the Copenhagen pieces on the bottom. Again, we just needed places to put it. Love the Murano bowls. I believe that's a Dino Martin's Tutti Frutti. That could be a Martin's piece up there as well. I love the figural Venetian piece. Pretty strong table of Kansas City art right there. Charles Banks Williamson sculpture of Benton is was a giveaway from the Kansas City Art Institute. The life-size version is there. If you supported the Art Institute at the time, you got uh, different size bronzes. Another big leady pot. Again, much bigger in person than you'd expect. You, know, you see my hand doesn't hardly cover it. Uh, just a big, overwhelming, strong pieces. And then the Dale Eldred piece is kind of fun. Painted plaques, I think those are both Haviland. Sterling silver, some great antique boxes. Love the Mother of Pearl inlaid tea caddy. Vienna uh, enameled ca uh, collector's cabinet. Sterling with enamel, all kinds of good stuff. Victorian art glass, Vienna plates, some really nice sterling pieces. Kristoff, more good plates. I believe the front pair are Gorham, the back pair are Randall. The Randall pair are solid. There's no weighting at all in those. Uh, and great arts and crafts style. Collection of French Limoges enamel vases. What's on top? Here we have... Uh, a Bustamante style uh, brass owl, some paperweights. Love the big jack in the pulpit. It's exaggerated oversized. I mean, it's hard to kind of get an idea of that, but look how thin that stem is. It's amazing. It's survived. Love the little French vitrine, Russian lacquer boxes. The, um, oh, I want to bring this over to Amy so she can wind it and get it to working in our video. Amy's gonna come over here and do that while I'm showing other things. Say hi, Amy. Hi. Love the dome, the largest dome we've ever sold. I mean, it's hard to describe how big that is, but you can see there are 30 sterling silver bud vases inside of there, um, and it holds them comfortably. Love the uh, circus image by Shoshman. Slossman, nice French uh, Parisian street scene. Really wonderful needlework piece. And I'm sure that you've heard. Did you hear it singing before? Here we go again. So, working all the way. Those are so fun and sweet to find when they do work. Dresden. Oh, these are awesome. The uh, Van Rensselaer bronze and glass masks. Completely different than the 19th century cows in the ship in the fields painting. <laughs> but we like to do that here. Very modern to very antique. And they all kind of work well together. Um, all right. The Chinese table was bought from Sotheby's at one point. It had a Sotheby sticker on the bottom of the drawer. Here's the other KPM plaque, and she is just extremely well done. Just a beautiful, beautiful painting. Love the paint portrait of the dog. There's another Putnam painting, which has a great perspective. The cowboys in the distance over the desert. One other contemporary piece. You can see we have a table and a French chair in the garage, in the, garage, in the kitchen. Uh, set of six Dale Eldred pictures. These are all signed. 
And these are all pictures of an installation of one of his sculptures. So kind of a neat little montage. Uh, one of them's damaged, glasses are broke, needs some work, but it's going to be a great, great piece when it's all said and done. Another one of the Putnam paintings, I believe that might be Custer. We got that stuff. Let me swing over here to the Hagen's glass screen. If you like modern, again, this is from the Architects Estate from off of Mission Hills. Let me roll the Eames chair out of the way. You can see that we have all 28 panels hanging here. We waited until we got this set before we hung the bottom. Yeah, absolutely a thumbs up on this. You can tell we, we waited until it was set before we hung the last row on the bottom. It clears the ground, but not by much. We wanted to make sure that we didn't have any concerns moving that around on the rack. Some contemporary art. Probably one of the most popular paintings in the auction is the Putnam painting of the trapeze artist. He worked, like I said, for the circus and painted in his free time, and that has to be one that was from and of a fellow performer. Great 19th century portrait of a Native American Indian. Haystacks are fun. This is another great piece. It's a sewing cabinet. It doesn't look like much, a little drum table, but it is a sewing cabinet. So rest that there and you can see that the center section removes to hold your notions and your fat and your uh, threads and things down there whatever else you needed all these little compartments open up great great 18 probably 40s give or take again that's from the architect's estate the mirror is from the plaza condo which makes sense they had loved their mirrors and again, this one is a good antique mirror. Love the acorns with the Egyptian uh, work on it. It's pretty cool. One of the better golden oak dressers with mirrors we've ever seen. Sold by Emery Bird Thayer, and it has bird's eye maple uh, secondary woods. Pretty unusual. Four Alba Malm watercolors, all with Lindsberg, uh, Kansas framing shop information on the back hey kevin how you doing it's been a while great trade sign the old carved pastry trade uh, sign a little dolly piece great little mission chair linens artwork and let me swing around cabinets are full of jewelry glass bronzes will uh schuster taos artist Pretty important house artist at that. Peach Blow, Myosin, KPM. Love the uh, Memphis School music box, and he does work as well. So he's kind of fun. Orient and Flume vase, Dom Nancy vase. And again, here's more of the jewelry. Nice collection of charm bracelets. And uh, the little Vienna bronzes are pretty cute, and cannot have not found that. When they're the dog under the plaid blanket. Nice collection of portrait miniatures. Love the uh, the laughing violinist. Found some information out about him. It's kind of fun. Some beautiful pieces. Love the Tiffany clock and the uh, the London little bracket clock. The Mikimoto frame is fun too. Oh wait, there's more. Oh, the big Eldred study of. Uh, Sure, it was an installation, or at least it was going to be. Whether or not it was ever executed, I don't know. But 1963, pretty early for his work. Daniel McMorris, love the uh, Victorian library chair. That is from the Architects' Estate. Notice the, the turned arms actually face each other. Nice little detail. And the other Lady Charger, and again, much bigger and more impressive in person. Uh, very big. I, I mean... It's, it's it's just a big, big piece of pottery, heavy piece of pottery. Uh, if you buy any of the lady pieces, of the, if you buy the dog or the sculpt, the charger, they are going to be much heavier than you would expect them to be. So it's going to be a great auction Monday night on uh, Labor Day. I know that's a holiday, but uh, by Monday evening, most everybody should be home. Our boys have been in school for a week, two weeks at that point, so uh, things are back to normal for most folks. If you have any questions, let us know. Send us a message here. If you have things you'd like to sell, let us know about that as well. We're always looking for next items, next auction items. We have a, some fun fashion and couture stuff coming up in September. Pretty excited about that. 
And uh, otherwise, have a great day. If you have any questions, let us know, and we will see you soon.